In this video, I'm going to be giving a full review of some 720 HD hidden camera spy sunglasses that I bought off eBay Hong Kong. This is actually the pair that I bought on the screen. I'll include a link in the description box in case you would like to order a pair for yourself. Now, I'm going to come right out and say that these are not a bad pair of spy sunglasses, but they do have some drawbacks, and I will be discussing all of that in this review. They ship in a manila envelope with this hard case that has a plastic carrying clip and a zipper. And it's actually a pretty sturdy case. Upon opening it up, inside we find a white cleaning cloth, a pink cleaning cloth, a USB cable that allows you to connect the sunglasses to your computer and to charge them. Sunglasses aside for now, we also have a user's manual, which is written in English. It's pretty easy to understand. The only part I couldn't figure out are the instructions on how to change or delete the timestamp on my pictures and videos. I had the same issue with my last pair of spy glasses. And we have the spy glasses themselves. What I like about these sunglasses is that they don't look like a recording device. You can wear them around most people and they won't even be able to tell that you're recording them. The camera is between the lenses as well, which is another plus. There is a pinhole which gives away its location, but most people won't realize there's a camera there. On the bottom here, we have the USB cable port, which gets covered up by a piece of rubber when not in use. And the rubber does a pretty good job of covering the port. In the side of the right arm here is where your micro SD card goes. You will have to buy an additional micro SD card for these sunglasses because they don't come with one and they don't have any built-in memory. I experimented with a few micro SD cards including a class 4, 6, and 10, all 32 gigabytes. The micro SD card slides right into the arm here and you can pull it out with your fingernail. There is a power button on the inside of the arm, and to activate the sunglasses, you need to press and hold it for 2 seconds until the LED light turns red. You are now in standby mode. From here, if you want to take a picture, you just press it once, and it will flash once. And if you want to start recording video, you press and hold it for a couple of seconds until it starts flashing. It will flash 4 times, indicating that recording has begun. To stop recording, press it once, and it will flash blue then red. The lenses on these sunglasses are interchangeable. That comes in handy if you want to swap them with lenses of your own, maybe some prescription lenses. One thing I didn't like about these sunglasses, however, is that they are particularly wide, as you can see in this picture of me wearing them. Granted, I am a slender guy, I'm 5'8", and weigh about 140 pounds, maybe that has something to do with it. However, the arms of the glasses above my ears squeezed my head rather tightly. It actually made my head hurt. It was an uncomfortable fit, too wide in the front and too tight in the back. Not a very good design in terms of fit. Now I'm going to give you some audio and video samples from these spy glasses. The following samples are using a class 4 micro SD card. This is what the spy sunglasses look like on me. I'm indoors right now and it's a partly cloudy day outside so the lighting in here isn't that bright it's of medium brightness and I'm about to go outside as a matter of fact I'm about to go get a haircut and I'm gonna take these spy glasses with me so that you can get an idea of what the video quality is going to be like not to mention the audio that you're hearing right now is coming from the spy glasses themselves so let's get going the voice audio you're hearing now is from an external microphone. Everything else is from the spy glasses. Indoor video quality is rather poor, as I'm sure you noticed in the last clip. But in an outdoor setting, in very good lighting, the video quality is surprisingly good, as you see here. However, one thing I didn't like about the video recording while using a class 4 micro SD card is the fact that every other second the recording would freeze or skip a frame for a split second making the recording look a little jumpy. 
Sometimes the recording would skip frames or freeze really badly, as in the case of this recording of me walking through the park. What you're seeing now is a recording I made with a Class 6 micro SD card while driving my car. This went much smoother. It wasn't without its faults though. The first minute and a half was really choppy, so I edited that out. By the way, if you're savvy at editing, you can get rid of that timestamp in the bottom right hand corner by just zooming in on your video. All of the SD cards I used actually had some freezing and skipping when recording video. Even the class 10 card. However, the higher class I used, the less freezing and skipping I seemed to experience. Also, I noticed that if my recordings were longer, there seemed to be less freezing and skipping overall. Especially since most of the freezing and skipping seemed to occur at the beginning and end of my recordings. Maybe there's some kind of bug or glitch when the spy glasses encode the video. The spy glasses also break up your recordings to 10 minute blocks in AVI format. So if you record for an hour, you should have 6 10 minute AVI files in your folder. And if your battery dies, the glasses are supposed to automatically save your last recording. Don't count on it though. I found that the last recording before your battery dies is sometimes corrupted and can't be opened. Here are some pictures that I took using the spy glasses, which I'll show you before moving on to my class 10 micro SD card recordings. The spy glasses shoot pictures at 5 megapixels. Not bad for a $30 piece of equipment. The following video and audio is of me taking my baby daughter for a walk and stopping by at the farmer's market to buy some strawberries using a class 10 micro SD card. Well, look at that. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Those are beautiful flowers, right? Do you like those flowers? Oh, I know you want to get out and touch them. They look nice, don't they? <laughs> you almost got it. You almost got it. What are you doing, baby? Oh, let me make sure that this is on your ears like it's supposed to be. Let me, let me see your other ears. Alright. <coughs> Alicia, what's wrong, baby? Why are you crying? <coughs> don't cry, baby. <coughs> it's okay, you don't have to cry. Everything's gonna be okay. <coughs> Daddy loves you. <coughs> what's over there? You wanna go over there? Well, we're going to go home now. Right now, we're on our way home. Is that okay with you? Can we go home? Mommy's waiting for us. We got some strawberries and cherries from the farmer's market, and they're good. I might give you some later if you behave. Are you going to behave? Do you want some strawberries and cherries? Here is a shot I took of a clothing bin so you can get an idea of how clear text appears with these spy glasses. The camera in these spy glasses also doubles as a webcam. All you have to do is plug your spy glasses into a USB port of your computer and turn them on by pressing the power button. If it's your first time plugging your sunglasses into your computer though, wait a minute for the proper drivers to download and then press the power button. Then, there should be some additional drivers that get downloaded so your spy glasses can act as a webcam. Your computer should then be able to identify them as a webcam under the name of General UVC. This is what I look like in Skype using my spy glasses as a webcam. Not bad at all. 
Keep in mind that this clip is zoomed in as well, so the actual quality of the picture is even better than what you see here. As a matter of fact, the picture quality from these spy glasses is even better than my HP webcam. However, the downside to using the spy glasses as a webcam is that they have a short cable and you can't clip them onto your monitor. These spy glasses have another interesting use, which I accidentally stumbled upon and the user's manual doesn't tell you about. They can double as a phone conversation recorder. Here is a recording of a call I made to my wife while coming home after walking the baby. It's in Polish, so don't worry if you don't understand it. Hey, you jesteśmy. No. Hey, ja dużo nie miałam do kupienia. Ojej, to ja cię jeszcze zniosę. Tak, ale nie przeszkadza, że ja mam te owoce za sobą, nie? Nie, to do koło bloku jeszcze. No, ja okay. zaraz, bo i wieszam tanie. Dobrze, do koło bloku. Pięć no, minuty. No. Dobrze, na razie. These HD 720 hidden camera spy sunglasses have the benefits of being able to record good quality HD video in well-lit settings while not obviously looking like a recording device. They also have the added benefits of doubling as a webcam and a phone conversation recorder. They take decent quality pictures as well. One more thing I forgot to mention during the video is that they have a total recording time of an hour and a half on a full charge. The drawbacks to them, however, is that they are an odd fit, for me at least, with a wide frame in the front and a very tight fit in the back. The video freezes and skips frames at times, but it helps if you use a Class 10 micro SD card. Are they worth it? If they're a good fit on your head, I'd say they're worth it. You actually get a lot for your money here. For $30, you get an HD pair of spy sunglasses that can also be used as a webcam and a phone conversation recorder. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe and hit the like button if this review was helpful to you. Check out some of my past videos on my channel page. I have a variety of computer-related videos dealing with product reviews and other helpful device fixes, tips, and tricks. And also, if you like watching cute baby videos, check out my channel, Home Videos 3000, where I post cute videos of my baby daughter, Alicia.